Hello, my friends. I'm Father Ezekiel Sanchez, rector of the Shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Well, today we're out here in the plaza at the shrine that when you come to visit, one of the things you'll see very beautiful is this beautiful monument to the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ with the image of Christ on the cross, the Blessed Mother, and St. John the Evangelist. You know, in the Gospel of St. John, Jesus upon the cross looks down at his mother and he says to her, Woman, behold your son, referring to St. John. And then he looks at St. John and he says, John, receive your mother. What he's saying by that is, welcome her into your house. Welcome her into your heart. Welcome her into your home. In other words, he's saying not just take care of her physically, but to get to know her is how I want you to know me. I want you to know me, not just about me. I want you to know me. And what better way to get to know Christ but through knowing his mother as well. Mary will always take us to her son and to the heart of her son. You know, there's a lot of folks that we pride ourselves in knowing a lot about our faith. We pride ourselves in knowing a lot of information about Jesus. But knowing information about Jesus doesn't necessarily mean you know Jesus. Knowing information about him, theology about him, though important as it is, and without taking any, any lack of importance to it, is not the same thing as having a relationship with him. Having a relationship with him means that you care about how he feels. You care about what's important to him. You care about your friendship with him. You talk to him, not only unloading your problems to him, but asking what are his plans? What does he want? Where is he going? What is, where are we now in this grand plan that the Father has established and started through him? And where do we fall, fit in the middle of all that planning that God has begun? Knowing your calling, knowing your vocation is so important. But the only way we get there is by having a real friendship with Jesus that we're actually sharing each other's hearts minds and spirit. You know, when I was a, a young seminarian, uh, just before I entered the seminary, I was a young Catholic, just like everybody else. We'd go to Mass on Sunday with my parents and my family. And as I was growing up, I realized that just wasn't enough. I needed more fundamental questions answered. And I thank God that I had wonderful pastors and I had wonderful mentors and good people around me that encouraged me to keep seeking those questions. I entered seminary and I continued that search. Is this what God wants for me? Does God want me to become a priest? Is the priesthood really something in my life? It's not a job, it's a relationship. I didn't become a priest primarily because I wanted a job, folks. I wanted to be a priest because I felt God calling me. Something is happening in the life of the grace of Jesus in the world that I am called to be part of. And so I'm speaking to you, my young brother, if you're thinking about being a priest, don't be afraid because that's the most important attribute and virtue we need. Courage. We need courage today. We need young men who are filled with courage that are not afraid to take seriously the person of Jesus Christ. You can hear stories about this story, about that story, about the church, but we didn't become priests in order to become employees of an institution. We became priests because we felt a calling in our lives. We felt Jesus Christ and his priesthood, as we can see clearly manifested upon the cross. Indeed, that's what a priest is, is someone who gives his all for the kingdom of heaven. Is someone who gives everything he has so that the word of God may come into the hearts of so many people. I have been filled with the blessing of so many people in different ministries, been blessed with going into so many parishes, and been blessed to just do so many things in the name of the Lord that has touched the hearts of so many. It's not me touch them, it's, it's God through you, through me that my unworthy self has become somehow involved in this movement of grace of the Holy Spirit in the person of Jesus that I am called to be. But what I need as a wonderful spirit director gave me the advice of saying, just don't be afraid. When you hear the Lord's voice, Harden not your heart, the scripture would say, but also respond to him generously. He will never let you down. I've taken that advice to heart and it is so true. It is so true. Don't be afraid. When God calls you and you start responding, you're that far away from great happiness in your life. When God is calling you and you answer, it's not easy, but it's so worth it. You'll find your greatest sense of fulfillment and satisfaction that you can't just imagine. For the many blessings in God that God has provided in our lives are incalculable. Whether you're a married man, 
or you're called to the priesthood, answering God is what we're called to do with courage, conviction, and faith. It's not easy, friends. That's why the Lord provides us our love for the Blessed Mother. She will guide us. She will help us understand His heart. She will help us understand the will of the Father. She will walk with us the entire journey. And so therefore, my friend, if you're considering the priesthood, if you consider having that bold and brave move, I invite you to come and visit us here at the shrine. Talk to one of the priests here if you like, or your pastor at home. Let them know what's in your heart. Let them know that this is something that you feel God wants you to do. And the more you let it out, the more guidance the Lord begins to provide in your life and begins to speak to you directly in your heart through the experiences of love, through the experiences of service, and through the experiences of prayer. I pray you come visit us soon here at the Shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe.